a civilization which covered a much wider area compared to that of its contemporary civilizations like Mesopotamia and Egypt. In terms of the geographical vastness, this civilization was three times bigger. It had around 1500 towns during its mature phase. Yes, I am talking about the Indus Valley Civilization. It is dated back to BC 2500 and existed in a region around Indus River Basin in the northwestern part of India and Pakistan. Here, we are going to decipher the mysteries of Indus Valley Civilization one by one. First is the system of governance in the Indus Valley. We don't clearly know much about their model of administration. But it is visible that throughout the Indus Valley area, there were quite a number of uniformity in the design of roads, drainage and weights and measures. This clearly signifies a centralized administration, right? In fact, we have discovered what appears to be the sculpture of a priest king from the Mohanjadaro. We don't know whether he is a priest or a king. There is one more thing. Many of the Indus Valley towns are divided in two parts, a citadel area and a lower town. Some scholars are of the opinion that such an urban design indicate the difference in social status of its residents. So, it can be reasonably assumed that the citadel area belonged to the aristocracy. Again, a proof of the well-established centralized administration. So, if there was a centralized administration, was it a secular administration or a religious administration? This takes us to the second mystery of Indus Valley, which is the religion of the Indus Valley. Again, we don't know much about their religion. But from what we have excavated so far, it can be reasonably assumed that fertility cult in the form of mother goddess and some form of mystic yogi as depicted in the Pashupati seal are worshipped. It also seems like there were ritualistic bathing areas and nature worship practices. If they had a religion, where are the grand religious structures? Like the pyramids in Egypt and the grand temples of Mesopotamia. So, the third mystery of Indus Valley is the absence of religious monuments, unlike its contemporary civilizations. More about the Indus Valley religion can only be known and decipher the script of the Indus Valley. So, this is the fourth mystery. Here, I want to start from the Rosetta Stone of Ancient Egypt. It was a special stone where the decree of the Asian kings were written in three languages. It's only because of the discovery of this Rosetta Stone in Egypt that the hieroglyphic script of Egypt could be deciphered. So, likewise, we have also de deciphered the cuneiform script of Mesopotamia. But unfortunately, we didn't discover any Rosetta Stone for Indus script. It still remains a mystery. We only know that it's a picturographic script. It had so many letters and possibly written from right to left. The last mystery in the Indus Valley is the sudden demise of the Indus Valley itself. In and around BC 1500, many historians and scientists have proposed a variety of possible reasons including natural calamities like earthquakes, floods, etc. What we only know for certain is that there doesn't seem to be any sort of violence associated with the Indus Valley's extinction.